on March 15, 1999, Amtrak train number 59, the city of New Orleans, departed Chicago Union Station, bound for New Orleans, Louisiana. The train consisted of two locomotives and 11 passenger cars. The locomotives were P40DC number 807 and P40DC number 829. Behind the locomotives was a baggage car, a transition sleeper car, three sleeper cars, four coach cars, and a dining car and a lounge car. At a railroad crossing near Bourbonnet, Illinois, a flatbed truck carrying steel was about to cross the tracks. As the train approached, the crossing lights were activated, but the truck driver thought he could beat the train. The Amtrak engineer noticed this and applied the emergency brakes, but it was too late to stop in time. The train hits the truck, derailing violently. One of the coach cars is crushed, while a sold-out sleeping car is toppled over onto its side. In total, eight cars come off the track. After the noise of the crash subsides, there is a scene of pure chaos. Diesel fuel from the locomotives ignite a fire inside the sold-out sleeper car. Many of the passengers were tossed around the cars. It's a wonder that many of them were able to survive the violence of the impact. By the next morning, the extent of the crash is realized. A jumbled pile of twisted metal that once were superliner cars. Most of the cars have been zigzagged into a tree shape because of the violence of the crash. In total, 13 people unfortunately lost their lives and 122 were injured. But what caused such a catastrophic accident like this, and why? Well, the blame rests on the truck driver, 58-year-old John Stokes. Before the accident, he had a lot of traffic violations. In fact, he had to attend traffic school five times, which under Illinois state law should have resulted in the suspension of his license. Unfortunately, this did not happen. Also noteworthy was that the crossing gates malfunctioned, causing them to lower very late. Even though this was true, it doesn't excuse the truck driver's behavior in trying to beat the train. Also at the time of the accident, the truck driver was not well rested. On September 21st, 2004, Stokes was sentenced to two years in prison for hours of service and logbook violations. He also lost his job and his license. In the end, P40DC-807 and P40DC-829, along with a few Superliner cars, were deemed a total loss and were most likely scrapped. The remaining cars that were not heavily damaged were repaired and returned to service. It's been 22 years since this accident, and people still try to beat and get struck by trains every year at crossings. But with tougher regulations and laws, we can just sincerely hope that an accident like this never happens again.